What's up guys, welcome back here to ET Outdoors. I'm Kai Burkett, and today I'm just gonna give you a little bit of an update what's going on here. The weather hasn't been cooperating too much, so I haven't been able to get out and film. But I'll show you what I'm doing right now. So I'm now out here at my pond. Uh, if you watch third video, you know that it's been leaking a lot. So I haven't been able to run it, but I'm gonna fix that and show you what I'm doing for it. So the water's been leaking out under this rock here and off the side of this one here so what i'm doing is i put this rock here i'm gonna foam it in underneath and reseal this one hopefully get the water stop running out so i can get this waterfall running So, so far here, I got this rock foamed up, started foaming a little bit of that rock, and I got this all sealed up in there. Shouldn't be leaking in there anymore. Should be good. Got another can I'm going to open. I have a few more spots I'm going to seal up there. So now I'm going to be... Sealing that up right there. I just put a rock there to help water from flowing out that side. And I'm going to finish sealing that up. Then we should be good to go. Hopefully get the waterfall turned on then tomorrow. No more leaks. So this is what we have here. Put some more foam in there. Sealed that up. Put the foam down in there. Foam that whole thing up. I'm gonna hide all the foam with some dirt and rocks later. Gotta let it sit for a little bit though. And then got foam all over that. So hopefully there's no more leaks. Okay, so while we're waiting here for the waterfall foam to dry, We'll head over and I'll show you some of the stuff I'm going to be doing with uh, bait. I'm going to be getting some minnows, some wax worms, and some mealworms. Now I'm going to be growing and using for bait and fishing. So we're over here at my minnow tank. It's going to be one of the ones that I'm keeping minnows in. has a lock there. Comes off. Lift this up. Much larger tank. Once they grow up, I'm going to be putting them in this one here this big white one gonna be cutting the top of it off and I'll have pumps and different things I'll show you more on that once I get there I'll show that in another video um, this is where I'm gonna be keeping all the tanks I'm gonna be turning in this I'm gonna be turning this into like a shed here but yeah the docks have them out running around I'll go show you my worms they're in the house so we're inside now um, and here's where I keep my worms right here these are my wax worms keep them in these two containers um, I'll open this one up to show you what's going on Got some of these worms in here. Um, and in this container here is where I got all the ones turning into moths and stuff. They'll uh, lay their eggs in this wax paper. And then they'll turn back into more of these little worms. And that's what I'm going to be doing with them. And then in here... I don't know how well you can see them, but I have my mealworms in here. There's apple slices in there they eat. Um, you can see some of the white ones in there. They're turned into beetles, but they'll turn into beetles up here. And then when they lay their eggs, there's a screen mesh, and the eggs and baby worms will fall down in here. That's how I'm gonna be getting those. So that's what it looks like so far. 
Um, got most of the foam covered up. I have a few spots down here. Still need, I need some to get some more rocks to cover that up. But I'll bring you out tomorrow and show you the waterfall running. And yeah, I'll see you then. What's up guys, it is the next day. Foam is all dry on the waterfall. So I'm gonna turn it on and show you how it looks. So the waterfall is looking pretty good. Not seeing any leaks right now, so. So that's just a little bit of what's been going on here. Weather has been cooperating. I haven't been able to film too much. But if you like the video, click the like button, subscribe, Hit the bell down below so you're notified every time I upload. And thanks for watching. See you next video.